Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jess with Jess's Magical Memoirs, and today I'm coming at you with part two of my sticker D stash. This is the uh, large sticker books in Disney Purge. So if you want to see how I do with this, stick around because that's coming up right now. Hey, Planny fam, welcome back to my channel. Like I said, this is part two of my sticker D stash. And we are going to be going through all of my sticker books that are Disney, as well as the larger sticker books. I decided to save the Disney stickers to do in a second part video because I knew I was going to have a hard time, like a really hard time de-stashing these. And I wanted to continue the process of showing you guys how I make these decisions and how I go through them. Because I feel like this is hard for all of us, <laughs> like for real. So it's time. I have to get rid of some of them. There are a few that I barely touched. We'll see how this goes. I think I'm going to do the larger sticker books first. It'll be easier for me to go through those. And then we'll dive right into to all the Disney. <laughs> As you can see here in front of me, I have my large sticker books. And then I have my Disney ones. I believe that's all of them. It should be. If you guys didn't see part one of this video of me doing my big D stash, I will link that above in an I card as well as below in the description box. I did that one on my bed as well. It just is easier because I can kind of just spread everything out into piles. Here are the large sticker books that I have. There are some Disney ones in here, which is why I decided to save these to, to do with all of the Disney. So this one is Seasons of Color and this one has a lot of like seasonal florals in it. Um, I've used a couple but not many and I really liked this sticker book. I thought it was super pretty. I really love the the fall ones in here but I would honestly because I have these kind of hidden on my cart I keep forgetting about it and now that it's been sitting for a while they're not really like my aesthetic anymore so I don't think I'm gonna hold on to it this isn't super old but it's not brand new either I think I'm gonna set it to the side for a moment and just think about it this is a Disney one and this is actually brand new this is my brand new Tinkerbell one and I am obsessed I love her I just recently uh, not too long ago did a spread in April with some of these stickers like I said I, I see many more spreads in my future so that is sticking around Okay, next is the Large Align sticker book. I bought this because I wanted something like with big neutrals that was different, that I could create spreads with in like a geometric sense. And I did use some of them in a Disney 100 spread I did, but I don't think I'm going to touch this again. So this one is definitely a bye-bye. All right, next up is another Disney, uh, Disney Large sticker book. This one has quite a few in here. This is, I believe... Which one is this one? Oh yeah so this is whimsy teacher this came out in last year's teacher release but there's actually a lot of really cute stickers in here that I need to use um, and they're barely teacher oriented there's only a few that are like really teacher based um, you can see like this whole page there's nothing on here about teaching I'm just gonna show you guys some of these stickers really quick because I feel like this this sticker book went kind of unnoticed do what makes you happy. This one isn't teacher based. See the good. That one's not teacher based and be kind. Um, and then we have like a lot of the character shadow blocks and images and none of those are teacher based either. And it kind of just goes on like this. Obviously this one, I mean, it doesn't have to be teacher based, but it's like craft based. But then like this whole entire page, there's not one thing on here about teaching. So there's just a lot of really good stickers in here that I need to be more conscious of using, but I'm not ready to get rid of this yet. Um, I do believe I bought the Whimsy Teacher in one of the value packs. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I didn't. We'll find out, but I think I'm going to hold on to that one too. Okay, next up is the Jewel Tones Jungle. This is actually a really pretty book. Um, I feel like, did I use this at all? I don't even know. Yeah, I used a couple. You can see some of the stickers are missing, but I don't think I'm going to use it again, you guys. It's really pretty, but I think I'm ready to say goodbye to it. So we're going to let that one go. So this is the seasonal large um, Disney sticker book, the Mickey and Minnie seasonal, and this is the big one. I'm pretty sure I used a bunch, but I still have a bunch left. 
So I'm definitely holding on to this one because it's it's freaking adorable. I think I might have to, um, like, look how cute the spring ones. I wish I remembered that. We've got some Valentine's Day and some winter. So a lot of good good ones I can still use. I need. I think I might need to find a different spot to put these large sticker books so they're more, like, in my face. I'm going to have to move that around, I think. Okay, so this is the Disney Farmhouse one. When they first came out with this, I fell in love with it. I thought it was so pretty. I liked the different color tones that they used in this. Um, but I haven't touched it. I haven't even used it. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Like, it's really pretty. And, like, it's a different color palette. There's a lot of Minnie Mouse in this one. I don't, I don't know. We're going to put the in the maybe pile. Okay, ex next up we have the Wellness large sticker book. I did have this sticker book in a value pack. I recently de-stashed it in my last video. I didn't need that one anymore. However, this one is really pretty and I feel like this could make some really cute spreads. I just love the colors in it. I haven't touched it, but like look how pretty these look. Look at the images on here. I think I'm going to keep this one. I think I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, this is the Butterflies and Blooms. This came out in the, I think it was in the fall. Um, I, I'm not sure. I am obsessed with this. I do have intentions on using it for this summer. So I'm definitely holding on to this one. All right, and the last large sticker book is the Bright Type. Uh, this one's mostly quotes, um, very oversized quotes with like different like florals and color palettes. I do believe I used some of the florals. Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. It looks like I used one or two. Yeah, it is really, really pretty, but genuinely, I don't think I'm going to use this again. So I am going to get rid of that one as well. All right. So, so far we have our maybe pile, our get rid of pile and our keep pile. I was hoping to get rid of at least four. Right now I'm only getting rid of three, but it is Disney stuff. And I, I knew that I was going to have a hard time. Maybe we'll go through and do like a second look through. We'll see. So, so far I have one, two, three, four, five in the keep pile and two in the maybe pile. Let's move on to, to the big kahuna now. All of my, uh, my Disney stuff. <laughs> all right. So this one is just chilling on top because it's the newest one I got and I have no more room in the box. Hence the D stash. So this one is again, that new Tinkerbell. I got it in the large and in the value pack. I am definitely holding on to this one. I have no plans to get rid of these anytime soon. Tinkerbell is one of my favorite characters. So she is staying put. All right. So I have these in alphabetical order and some of them are duplicates. Um, I picked up doubles at one point for some of them because I just wanted to have them in my corner. So the first one is the Happy Planner Disney uh, color block. I've used this one a lot. Um, it's got a lot of the basic characters. It's actually, I think it's all Mickey and Minnie. Yeah. With lots of different colorways in it. Um, lots of character images. You can see like as far as like functional goes, I've used a lot of these stickers. A lot have been used. Every time I dig into this, it gets a little bit harder and harder to find what I'm going to use. The problem I have with the Mickey and Minnie stuff is lately they haven't been coming out with like classic characters. They've been coming out with like specific ones that a lot of us have requested. That's why like a part of me wants to de-stash this, but then I'm like, should I really get rid of it? I think we're going to stick it in the maybe pile for now and I'll go back through, through it after. All right. Next we have a bunch of colorful boxes. This one is the princess one and these are the classic princesses. And I still have quite a bit in here. Um, I've used a few, like there are a few um, characters like Tiana. I've used her quite a bit, but then there's still quite a bit left too. I think I'm probably going to hold on to this. I'm going to set it over here and let's find the one that goes with it. Okay. So this is one of them. This is the princess magic one. This one has some quotes in there and it has like just deco characters. I love this sticker book. Um, I am running out of a few of the characters. I've used it quite a bit, 
but there are still quite a few left. Those go with those. So like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep these. I have a lot of other princess ones in the back over here and we'll get to them, but I'm definitely holding on to those two. Okay, so here are the colorful boxes for Mickey and Minnie and Friends. These are like classic Disney colors with some pink and then some teal and then back to classic. Uh, this is a really good one. I am definitely holding on to this one <laughs> as well. <laughs> All right, I have three of these sticker books. So they went on sale, oh gosh, a while ago. I bought the original one when it first came out, which is, I don't know, so you can see I have them labeled. Um, this one's the newest one, I think, because I was using them up like constantly. This one looks like it might be brand new too. I don't even think I've went into this one. Um, but because I don't dig into them as much as I used to, I think I can get rid of at least one of them. This one looks like I've... <laughs> Trying to figure out which one is the most used. I'm pretty sure this one is the most used. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Finally, getting rid of one. These go over there in the keep pile. Um, and then I'm going to hold on. Ugh, do I hold on to two? I want to say yes. Just because they're classic characters, y'all. And I can use these a lot. So... I think I'm going to hold on to both of them. At least we got rid of one. <laughs> and then this is the other one that goes with that collection. This is the Magic Plans. And this is kind of like the color block version. Uh, we have a lot of couples characters, couples boxes, lots of minis and mickeys in miniature form. You can see I love this sticker book so much. I've used quite a bit of the functional ones, but that's okay. Um... So this one is a keep too. <laughs> I'm not doing too hot, y'all. I've gotten rid of one and I have one in the maybe pile. Okay, next up is the Mickey Indigo. Y'all, I was never planning on buying this sticker book. And then I walk into Joann's and I see it. I'm in like a shopping phase and I'm like, oh, I can make a cute blue spread with this. And I grabbed it. But the truth, truth be told is I'm not a fan of this sticker book at all. I was really hoping I could fall in love with it. You can see I've used it a, a tiny bit, but I, I'm never going to dip into this again, I don't think. So we're going to get rid of this one. Yay! <laughs> okay, so next up is the uh, Minnie and Mickey Seasonal. And this one is the one that goes with that large, that large one we kept over there. So this is the value pack to that one. I've used some of it. You can see I've, I've used none of those. Those are actually clear. I liked the Mickey and Minnie like spooky ones. I like that sheet. Um, and some of these are really cute. But you can see I haven't used much. I haven't used much of it at all. Really like looking through this. The only thing I can really see me using is that Halloween color palette of Mickey's. <laughs> um but I don't want to keep it just for the one page. And we do have that big one, which is fine for deco. So I think I'm okay with getting rid of that. All right, moving on. Uh, these are both modern Mickey and Minnie. I, how did I end up with two? Oh, okay. I see. One is a mini version and one is the classic version. Oh, big version. Sorry. I've got mini and a big. So I feel like I feel like I don't need both of these. We can definitely get a ri rid of one of them, but I love the color palette in the modern Mickey. They're so pretty. I do really like the sizes and different shapes in the mini. I have a feeling this is the one I'm probably going to keep just because there's a lot of different sizes in this one, but let's go through the big one anyway and take a look and see. These are cool. Um, I don't have those in that one, but I don't wanna keep it just for one set of boxes. You know what I mean? Well, there's a lot of them in there though. I'm trying to see if there's anything similar. I don't think there is though. That might be why I was holding on to both of them, you guys. I'm pretty sure that's probably why I was keeping both. <laughs> because I really like these and there's a lot of them in this sticker book. Hmm. All right. Well, this one is definitely going to be a keep. And then I think I'm going to put this one in 
the maybe pile. All right, this one isn't going anywhere. This is the new Nightmare Before Christmas Happy Planner sticker book. This one came out in Walmart. And I am so excited to do a spread with this. I believe I've already done one. Uh, it's so freaking adorable. This one is definitely not going anywhere. I'm obsessed with it. I really want to do a Sally and Zero spread. Or like, yeah, I just want to do like, it's kind of color, like almost like a color stories a little bit. It's so cute. This one is a definite keep. All right, so the next two sticker books are the Oasis Adventure collection. And I've used these quite a bit, believe it or not, even though a lot of people didn't like them. These are very old. These are some of the OG Disney Happy Planner stickers. Um, this one, which one's this one? Hold on. Okay, this one is the regular like functional value pack one. Got a lot of nice quotes in there, some big boxes, some functional boxes, some words, and then like just some random like doodly stuff. It's cute. And then this one is strictly the deco one with all the Mickey heads and houses. Um, but I have done many spreads with these and they're all like the same color way. You know what I mean? Just to just a side note for a minute, you guys, a lot of my Disney stickers, I merge with regular stickers. So what happens is, is like sometimes I'll do like a full collection, like full spread. But a lot of times I will take bits and pieces from either the deco one or the functional one and I will combine it with regular stickers. So what happens is I use them, but I don't use them like in big quantities or or like a lot often. So it's like I don't want to get rid of them because I know I could collab them with other stickers. But because they've been sitting for so long, it's like, is it, you know, maybe I need to just say goodbye. And that's kind of what's going on here with this collection. That's what I tend to do quite a bit. Oh, goodness. I think I'm okay to say goodbye to these. I, I think I'm ready to let them go. Goodbye, Oasis Mickey. All right, so now we're getting back into the all the princess stuff. There's a lot of princess here. Let's do, we'll do this one. I want to make sure I'm like doing them together. There's like lots of different ones. We'll save the two bigger ones for after. Okay, so let's start with this one. This one is the one that goes with the other two princess sticker books that I kept that I showed you earlier, the boxes and like the big characters. <laughs> Look at, I almost burnt a hole in it. I have my candle going. Yeah, it's okay, Snow White. Uh, so this one is, has like a lot of like quotes. It has a lot of sidekicks in it. A lot of, a lot more like of the characters, boxes, um, clear stickers, like you can see. A lot of Tiana. Um, I, I think I'm going to keep this. I really do like my princess collection just because they're classic princesses. And I find that I do use them sometimes more so than my, than my Mickey and Minnie stuff. So I'm just going to dig through here for a minute. Find where I put those. Here they are. And I'm just going to pull them out. Sorry, I know the camera's like all over the place. And we're just going to place those on top and then we're going to place this with it. And I actually have a mega book that goes with that. Hold on. It's right here. I'm going to pull it out. So this is the mega mini. It's huge, y'all. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. But they're not all the same stickers. I've got groups. I've got smaller versions of things. Um... Yeah, I'm just really obsessed with it. I'm really obsessed with all the princess stuff. You can see I've used the Beauty and the Beast one in this. Plus the fact that I am, I guess I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler alert, doing more daily planning soon. The smaller stickers are going to be great. So I am going to keep that as well. I told you all, going through my Disney stuff is tough for me. I didn't expect me to get rid of a whole lot, which is okay. I wish I was doing a little bit better, but... It's okay. All right, and then these are other Disney Princess version stickers. Um, you know what I just realized? I have another one of those classics. 
Wow. I did not realize, y'all, that I had that much. Holy Toledo. All right, hold on a minute. Let's, let's, because this is classic. This is this. Let's look through this for one more second. Hold on. Okay, so this is the classic one. We've got some sidekicks, some quotes. All right, Aurora, Ariel, Tiana, Cindy, and Snow White. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. And then this one, some of all the girls, some more sidekicks, quotes and things. All right, we have Merida. Okay. Rapunzel, Mulan, Pocahontas, Jasmine, Tiana, Belle, Ariel, Sleeping Beauty, Cindy, and Snow White. So we have way more characters in this one than we do in this one. Are they the same stickers? I guess that's my other question. Like, let's look for a minute. Let's go to Aurora for a sec. Just to compare, guys. We need to compare this. They are exactly the same. Okay. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to get rid of this one and we're going to keep the mega one. It makes no sense to have both of the same. Um, obviously, it's always nice to have extra girls. But I have those other ones too. So we are going to get rid of the classic size. Bye bye, burnt book. <laughs> and we're going to keep both of the megas. All right, let's go back to these. So here we have two different princess versions. This one is Princess Elegance. And this one is kind of like a more like sketch version of the princesses in very like classic, light, sophisticated colors. And then this one is called Strong at Heart. And this one is is almost like more like realistic girls than it is like the classic cartoon versions. Um, let's flip through this one. I do like the girls in this one. Um, but clearly, I mean, well, I have used some of them. I shouldn't say I haven't used them. So I have used some of them. But I don't know if I'm still going to use it. Like some of them are really cute. But, and they do definitely give me, like, grown-up, more mature, sophisticated Disney princess vibes. But I genuinely don't know if I'm ever going to use this anymore. I've used it quite a bit, actually. You know what? Goodbye. All right, this one I really do love. It's really cool. And I, I digged into it a couple of times, but I probably should use it more. They're really pretty. I just like this version. It's different. The color palette's different. I like some of the functional stickers in here, but I haven't touched this in a really long time. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile and we'll think about it. Okay, so we're almost done. We're down to the last four. Um, the next one is true to you. This one is brand new. I just picked it up, so I'm definitely going to be keeping it. This is from the newest release. Um, not back to school, but the one before that, the spring release. This is all Winnie the Pooh. Look at how cute. I've already used a couple of them, but I want to do like a full spread. They're so adorable. I can't. Like, look how cute. Oh, so cute. So this one is definitely a keep. Um, we have two villain sticker books. I'm going to wait to do those. We'll do the Wonderland one. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping the rest of these. Um, this is the Alice in Wonderland one. I've used this twice now. I'm not really sure what's left in it. I really uh, loved this one when it first came out. This came out was it a year or two ago. I don't even, I don't even remember. I did do a plan with me with this. I'll link that for you guys. You can check it out. Actually, I've used this quite a bit. I'm not sure if there's anything left for me to use. I think I might be okay with getting rid of it, you guys. I don't, I don't know if I see myself doing another spread. I've done three of them with this already. You do get a lot of spreads out of these, but... All right. Bye, Alice. All right. And then finally, my two villain sticker books. They are so freaking adorable. Um, this one, I want to say this is big and this one's classic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I love the hollow in here. Uh, Queen of Hearts, Evil Queen, Captain Hook. I've already done a spread with him. 
I think I did a plan with me on that too. If I can find it, I'll link that for you guys as well. Um, I really want to do a Cruella one soon. Love that. Jafar. And then there's my girl. Going to be doing one for her soon, Ursula. And I even love the Scar stuff. We've got Hades. It's just so cool. And then, of course, Maleficent. And then this is the same one. It's just in big. And this one has, like, the clear character stickers, which I really love. A lot more functional stuff. I did some Scar. Like, look how cool the Scar colors are in here. It's just, they're so gorgeous. I love them. I love me some good villains. I think I'm probably going to do a villain spread for our uh, September trip, but I really, really love these. So these are a keep as well. Okay. So I feel like I did okay. Like towards the end, we got rid of a few. I have a couple to go through in the maybe pile, but that's okay. I'm pretty, like I'm confident with what I did. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Let's go ahead and put the keep ones back in the bin. All right, those are back in the bin. I am gonna go ahead and go through the maybe pile and then I will come back and show you guys the final, the final result. All right, so I made a final decision. I ended up getting rid of two more, I mean, three more of the sticker books. Um, I did end up keeping the princess and the modern Mickey sticker books. So, you know, I feel like I could have did a little bit better, but there's definitely still plenty of room to add a few more to the collection when I do pick some more up. So we'll do, we'll try again <laughs> in another six months, but I think I'm happy with my decision. I think this is as good as it's going to get. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I will link um, part one of this video, the sticker D stash uh, down below. And if you guys didn't see that, you can go and check that out first. Uh, it's always a big lengthy process, but I really wanted to record it and show you guys how I do this. I might have recorded another sticker D stash at one point. If I can find that, I will throw that in the description box for you guys as well too. So you can go and see one of my older ones. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you guys have recently done a sticker D stash, what you've gotten rid of. Was it hard? Was it easy for you? Talk to me about it in the comments. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking out the video. I would love it if you subscribed by hitting the subscribe button down below. Don't forget that bell notification too. It really does help out the channel and it also will get you guys notified whenever I post a new video in the future. All right, y'all, until the next video, happy planning and stay magical. Bye.